Hey everybody, Ben with Classic Firearms here. Today is Tuesday, November the 8th, and I am so excited to be able to bring you this particular product. What we have for you today is some U.S. military surplus, the likes of which Classic Arms has never been able to offer you before. As a matter of fact, I have no idea where you could find some of this anywhere on the marketplace these days. What we have is a very exclusive batch from a private collection of M1 carbine rifles. Now these are original U.S. military contract M1 carbine rifles made by various U.S. military manufacturers back in the 1940s, World War II era. These are not aftermarket. These are not some kind of modern day replica. These are actual original U.S. military carbines. I have five inlands. I have a standard production. Robbie. Would you go down and let them know that we're making a, a video? Sure. Okay, maybe they can keep it down. Some of our people are on break and they're outside the warehouse here, and God bless them, but uh, they bleed over into the uh, into our videos sometimes. Anyway, back to the carbines. Beautiful collection. I would call these museum quality. Now, I wish I could tell you the history on them. Jordan, while I'm talking, just come in and focus on the guns because we really want to focus on the rifles today. As I was saying, I wish I could tell you more about the rifles. They came from a private collection. We are blessed sometimes to be able to buy out some uh, some collections from private individuals. I wish I knew more about them. Uh, unfortunately, I do not. All I know is what I'm seeing. You know, what we have seen is I have five inlands here. I have a standard products, two national postal meters. We have a Winchester. Everybody's looking for a Winchester M1 carbine. I have an IBM that has an IBM barrel and it also has some special collectible characteristics to it. I have a Rockola and then I have a very special highly collectible Rockola and we'll show you the individual characteristics on those. But let me just once again show you a couple of the rifles. This is one of my inlands. It has a beautiful stock. This particular one has an Underwood barrel on it. I don't know if those barrel markings will show up. We're going to try to shoot one right here. This one's got an Underwood bomb barrel on it. I don't know if they'll show up with the camera, so we're not going to really videotape them. Jordan will come back and take some steel shots so you can see that the barrels have markings on them. Some of them do. I know we have some inland barrels here. We have some Underwoods. I saw an IBM barrel. One of my Rockolas has an original Rockola on it. Now, as far as all original parts, we haven't been inside. I know they're original parts, but I don't know if they're matching parts. We haven't been inside the guns, but what you see is what you get. But again, just some beautiful, beautiful rifles. This is one of my National Postal Meters. Can we get a shot behind the receiver and get up in there? On all M1 carbines, the original ones, the manufacturers are listed behind the rear side aperture. Oh, you want to get the receiver also, Jordan? Very good, thank you. So you see that. Now something else that I've noticed on these guns, because I'm, I'm a carbine fan, I've examined these pretty closely. We cannot find any visible import stampings on these guns anywhere. There are simply none that are visible. We've gone over them with a magnifying glass. Now I suppose we have not had them outside the stock. So I suppose that there's a slight possibility that there's an import stamp under the wood somewhere. I don't know but no visible import stamps. Again, don't know the history on the rifles, but they are beautiful rifles. Let me just tell you about a couple here and then we're gonna move on. I have one here. This is an IBM Corporation rifle. It has an IBM Corporation barrel on it. Can you see that, Jordan? A little maybe. I know you'll come back and take a still picture. IBM receiver, but in this case, you see the AO there, does that show up at all in the camera lens? That AO is auto ordnance. So this is an IBM receiver contracted through auto ordnance. You collectors will know what that means. A very rare rifle. We also have a couple of Rockolas. Now these are original Rockolas, not aftermarket Rockola. Jordan, I'm gonna ask you to come up and see if you can shoot under that side aperture. You can probably see the RO starting the Rockola. This one's a standard Rockola. I believe it has an Underwood barrel on it. And then this is my collector's piece. This is a Rockola with a spring housing receiver. 
You see this indentation here? That is a spring housing receiver. Now collectors will know what I mean and they will know the rarity of that particular piece. It also has, we'll try, if not Jordan will get a, uh, a still picture of it. Also has an original rock hole of barrel. No import markings that I can see anywhere on any of these rifles. Just absolutely beautiful rifles. All have a beautiful fit and function. All of the stocks to a one, and we'll go down and scroll the table for that. All of the stocks have the original cartouche markings. Issue markings on the stocks. Again, just a very rare find. We're so pleased to be able to, to offer them to you. Now here's the deal with the guns, folks. As I said, we got these from a private collection. They came to us as rifles only. We did not get magazines with these rifles. So what you're gonna see is we have put an aftermarket mag in each rifle just to make it complete. That's a 15 round aftermarket mag. We're also gonna ship it with a 30 round mag. So you're gonna have 15 round and a 30 round mag with your rifle. And because of the rarity and the value of this rifle, we're gonna pack them all in a hard shell case. Here's the deal, today is Tuesday. We're gonna release these tomorrow on Wednesday the 9th at noon. We're gonna release them under our M1 carbine SKU and we're gonna sell them by serial number. So if you see a rifle here you like, you'll have the opportunity to buy that exact rifle. When we close out, Jordan's gonna do that magic she does. She's gonna show you the tags as they're attached to the rifles and you can actually select and choose the rifle that you want. Jordan, did I miss anything? All right, very good, we're gonna wrap it up and Jordan, as soon as I do, I'm gonna ask you to uh, scan this table and then we're gonna give you a little quick sneak peek of something else we have coming for you tomorrow, which I think you're also gonna be very, very excited about. M1 carbines, original military issue, museum quality, folks. I hope the camera can capture the beauty of these, the parkerizing, the stock, everything you see on them is very close to 100%. Beautiful condition like you never see M1 carbines anymore. It's a wonderful opportunity. And then we're gonna show you something that we got coming for you tomorrow. Folks, thank you for being with us. We appreciate your business and join us each and every day at www.classicfirearms.com. Jordan, give them a little sneak peek of what we have coming tomorrow.